Hey guys, and welcome to Zero Time Dilemma. Now, a little backstory about me just waiting for this game. It's been, when I finished uh, the original game, well not the original game, I want to say the sequel to the original game. So first there's 999, and then there's, uh, wow, I'm blanking out on the name, uh, Virtue's Last Reward, which is the sequel. And I finished that, I want to say about almost two years ago. And my friend Chris, he's the one that got me into the series, and it was just simply amazing. It was a game that had a story with twists, turns, quantum physics, uh, mystery, I, I mean, everything. You know, I, before this, I thought Kojima was the master storyteller, but holy crap. This game. Oh my god, this game. It, it's... It's the story is so amazing beyond compare to me in my personal opinion this series has the most amazing in-depth and well-written story uh, that I have ever encountered in gaming now this is a visual novel for those of you that are not familiar with visual novels it's it's basically kind of like a a video of a comic book uh, and the very first game, it just, you know, had running text uh, with, along with the pictures. So, you know, there wasn't any voice acting. In the second game, it was f fully voice act for the most part. Uh, except for when you're in the puzzles, you know, you just have to read the text. But, um, it, it was fully voice acted. Very well done, in my opinion. Uh, and this time it was 3 3D, 3D models instead of uh, 2D sprites or 2D, 2D art. Uh, and it still worked pretty well. You know, the animation wasn't anything to write home about, as probably this game will have the same thing. But it's it's the story and the puzzles and the mystery that draw you in. So, to me, this is something really precious in terms of me sharing this game with you. Because it's something that I really, really enjoy. Uh, and not only that, but... Uh, after the after VLR, Virtue's Last Reward, this game almost didn't happen. Uh, simply because there wasn't the funding for it. But I think uh, after a successful Kickstarter, or, uh, well, I don't know if it was Kickstarter or something else. But basically, it, it, it got funded by us, the, you know, the fans, and it happened. So this is a game that wasn't going to happen, and it did. And I'm super happy about it. Uh, I pre-ordered it on 3DS, but there was a huge, huge delay. And according to Amazon, I wasn't going to get my game until late July. So I said, screw it. I'm not going to get it on 3DS. Uh, and instead, decided to get the Steam version. Uh, because one, why not? It's And it's, you know, the soonest that I'd be able to play the game. But also, I thought, hey, you know, I can show it off i'm not i'm not sure if i'm gonna make a let's play of it uh, maybe i will maybe i won't uh, but i definitely wanted to show it off for those who are curious and you know want a little background on the story uh it, it is very thick it is very heavy story or it is a very heavy story um yeah it's it's not for for those of you that can't keep up with a lot of twists and turns and, you know, don't like a lot of mystery because there will be parts where it's like, wait, what the heck? What's going on? I don't get it. And there will be parts that we, you won't understand. And, you know, after replaying the game or playing another part of the game, you will fully understand something else. It's it's a game that can take two playthroughs in order to fully understand the game. Kind of like, you know, for me, in Metal Gear Solid... Uh, to Sons of Liberty. I didn't fully understand everything until my second playthrough, and I'm like, oh, okay, this makes much more sense now. So, without further ado, let's play the game. Uh, also, side note, I probably won't be talking as much because there is a lot of dialogue in this game. Uh, that's another thing. There is a lot of dialogue, probably very long cutscenes uh, before we'll probably... Uh, excuse me, before we'll get to the first puzzle. So... Let's go. Hey, open up. Who 
would do this? Shit. What's wrong with you? Someone's one night mistake. A mistake? <laughs> Maybe Diana's. This isn't the time for jokes. Let me guess. That helmet can't come off, can it? So creepy. I don't want it near me. Where the hell did this thing come from? Why does he sound like a man? Maybe he looks like a boy. Forget it. Shouldn't we be trying to get out of here? Impossible. This is a confinement room. The bar is only open from the other side. Nothing to do but ask whoever did this to let us out. The mastermind's right there. That kid locked us up. So he was the one who put these on us? It's a bit of an assumption. It... It... Oh, never mind. Was it me? It talks! No crap, it's a kid. Of course it's gonna talk. Still using the audio from the previous game, which I like. I don't mind. Make go extinct. What the hell are you going on about? Who are you? Why are you doing this? I require a bowl. Game? With effect of you, me, and the human race, and the balance. Fuck that! Let's get started. Kind of reminds me of Two Face. Beneath my foot, there's a coin. One side of it is red, while the other side is blue. Which side of the coin is facing up? Make a guess. However, you only get one chance. Hmm. Do we get something if we get it right? No fear. I promise that I will release all of you. And what if we're wrong? That's the catch. You won't lose. You will have to stay in the game until at least six of you are dead. What? Damn. Let's go with blue. It's red. Right, red. It's gotta be red. 50 50 chance. The odds for each are the same. Then we should vote. Wait! I can't believe you guys. Kane's right. You're just going to do what he says? What do you think, Kane's? You are the leader of this group. Why him? Take your decision as everyone's final answer. What are you talking about? I'll let Carlos choose. Pick red. It's blue. So what do you say, Carlos? I... No, Carlos! Don't answer him! Time to choose, Carlos. You are that solitary snail. The fate of the world rests on your decision. I guess I'm going to have to make a choice. Yep. Ah, oh, crap. A blue or red. Ah, heads or tails. Blue or red. Crap. I'd kind of lean to, towards red, actually. Yeah, I'll go with red. Red. Hmm. See? Didn't I say it'd be red? You know what? Yeah, yeah, whatever. I think if I would have chosen blue, well done, it would have been blue. Are you some kind of clairvoyant? It was just luck. I had a 50% chance. 
It's not too hard to get it right. Hey, hold on a sec. Okay, sure, you lucked out with your guess. But what if you had gotten it wrong? What does it matter? Everything worked out fine. So, are you going to make good on our deal? Fear not. I'm a third person. I promised to release you and then show. Yeah, from the cells. Ah, but before that, I apologize. But you must all sleep. Sleep? When next you win, you will have forgotten everything that you have had to do. Why would we forget? Still using Sopiro or a variation of Sopiro. Sopiro was a uh, gas used in this in the first game. I know. You're. It was a gas used in the first game to knock people out, but it also had the unfortunate side effect of uh, giving temporary amnesia. If I remember correctly, <laughs> if if someone else has played the first games and has a better memory, please let me know. But uh, that's that's what I remember. Hey, hold on. Why are we outside? I have no clue. When I woke up, we were on the ground over there. Huh? What is it? Didn't we all have something attached to our left wrists? <laughs> so that's it. We beat the game. <laughs> oh, I crap. suppose we might have. Coin. Huh? Nothing. Just saw an image of a coin flash in my mind. It was flipped and falling. Come to think of it. Damn, I, I can't remember anything. Me neither. Neither can I. Somehow feels like... Like I made a bet with someone, but... Someone? What kind of bet? Did we... All forget what happened? Hey, I... Uh, could I ask all of you something? Who is this kid? <laughs> that kid, I, name is, I think his name is Q. Uh, he's very similar to the character K in the f second game. In which there was a guy encased in armor, and he didn't know who he was. He had amnesia. And when we found out who he was, holy crap. Oh, wait. Okay. We beat the game, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I guess that's it. Wow. Holy crap. Are you serious? Okay. A, a little, little disclaimer, and... Uh, I'm not gonna... If, if you really want to get to know the story without spoiling it um i'm you know spoilers spoiler alert, i'm about to tell you a little spoiler not about this game but about the previous game uh if you don't care uh you know just keep listening but what happened in in the last game as as far as what i'm about to tell you now i'm, I'm not gonna make it too spoilery but there is a mechanic in which you play out a scenario differently so whenever there's a choice to be made and you make that choice you will play out that scenario from that decision now you can go back and replay that scenario and make a different choice so now i'm gonna go back and play that same scenario but i'm gonna choose blue I see. I thought either way, if I choose blue or red, we you know continue with the game anyway because that's how it's meant to be. But this guy's serious. Okay, let's see if uh, we can go back and yeah, beginning of the end. Ha! 
so that's ending number one. You made the right mm-hmm. choice. You let you go. That's it. That's that. Uh, let's save. Okay. Oh, you can play with a controller. Oh, okay, cool. Now it's time to choose whose fate will you follow first. Select the team to continue with the story. Hmm. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Maybe I need to turn on the... Nope. Turning on the controller won't do anything. Ah, uh, shoot. I think we ran into a glitch, because I really can't do anything about this. I can't click on any of these people. Uh, let's, oh, that, that was weird. Okay, that, yeah. See, so there's our first scenario, where we flip. So I guess there's three scenarios. Hmm. I wonder if one is a secret scenario, where, like, we have to figure out how to... Uh, get it, or what happens is we, if we choose two, uh, we'll find out how to do the third option. But typically, there's two. So that's how it breaks down. So, you know, whenever you do a scenario, you know, it starts there, but then whatever you choice you make, you will continue, and it will continue to branch out even more and more. Oh, come on! Okay, this is my save. What is going on? I can't select a team. Oh, well, I guess I selected a team. Um, hmm, I guess we'll go with Carlos. If you're unsure how to control something in a game, well, I guess I'll use a controller instead. Yeah, there's a glitch. What the heck? Why is it, so? It's the R, the right button, not the right button. The yeah, the right bumper. Ah, it's like playing Russian roulette. Sorry, guys. Ah, oh, back here again. Hey, Carlos. Pick, pick one. I'm like pressing all buttons I can. Oh, okay, now we got Diana, I think. Ah, shoot. Oh, wait. I managed to do something. Come on. Oh, I keep pressing. Okay, so X is to Q team. But I can't select anything. Okay, this is something that's gonna... Alright, sorry guys. I'm I'm gonna need to figure this out because this is ridiculous. Such is PC gaming. And also, this guy is, is not used to coding for PC. Or multiple platforms for that matter. Most of his games are on 3DS, the DS, the 3DS, and then he finally ported to Vita. So this is his first attempt at PC, so please do not give him a hard time or think, oh, this is a crap game, you know, he doesn't know how to do anything. This is, this game, by all intents and purposes, is indeed a miracle. So I will go and try and fix this and uh, see what I can do. And we're back. Okay, so what I did is I just basically restarted the game, loaded it back up, and everything seems fine with the controller or the 360 controller on so I don't know if that what was uh, or that's what was the problem uh, so now we have to pick a team um, I think I'm gonna go with Carlos just because that's my brother's name each image you see here is a story fragment only one is available to you now but more will unlock as the story unfolds. Select any unlocked fragment to continue the story. Sweet. When you find you are unsure of how contro to control something in the game, click question mark at the top right to open the control guide. You can also press back on the controller or F1 on the keyboard. 
All right. See? This is what I was talking about. So we made a decision, and it went down one branching path. So now we're going to go down this way. Time to choose, Carlos. You are that solitary snail. The fate of the world rests on your decision. You can also skip the dialogue uh, to till the point where you you know you haven't progressed through. It's blue. I told you, Red. Uh. Carlos, you asshole! You got it wrong! Carlos! What were you thinking? It's a 50 hey, 50 a chance, second. relax. Carlos isn't the one to be blamed for all this. Right. The person who started it is. So? What now? You should know already. You were wrong, so the game continues. Until six people are dead, huh? At least six. It's possible there may be more of them. Jeez. Why don't we hurry and get this over with then? Before we begin, you need to be home to go to sleep. Sleep? When next you wake. Why? There's no point to telling you now. You won't remember anything you won't. Pleasant dreams. I suddenly got a Telltale Game 5 from all this, especially because of, you know, cell shaded models. The thing is, the difference between this and a Telltale game, I'm actually interested in playing this. Uh, not to say that Telltale games are, you know, bad or anything like that. In fact, they're great, you know, they get great reviews. But, uh, the story in this is much, much more interesting. Carlos, Leaps and bounds. Carlos! Akane! Bastard! What the hell's going on? Whoa. You brought all of us here! No! It's not me! Then what the fuck is that stupid thing on your head? Let it go, Eric. No need to take it all out on the kid. Mira! I wonder what this is. <sighs> Give it up, Diana. It's better that you don't force it off. Why do you say that? You should listen to it. I get the feeling she's seen it before. Recently? That's what it was called a year ago. Right, Akane? Junpei. Referring to the rich again. Good morning. How are you feeling? Who's this? I am Zero. The second Zero. Hmm. The second? Let me make one thing clear. This is a recording, so don't bother asking questions as I cannot answer them. I'd like to tell you an old story. Seventeen years ago, on a rainy morning, a woman went jogging in a large park. Her usual route led her to a fork in the road. Normally she'd run down the right path, and for some reason, this day, she chose the left. Along the way, she bumped into a senior citizen she saw every day. Surprised to see her, I asked, Why did you come this way today? This was her reply. Because there was a snail. Her body was discovered a few hours later. Murdered. They found her in some bushes along the left path. Sometimes, life is simply unfair. Don't you think? 
What the hell is all this nonsense? It's the same for all of you. The pull of an unjust fate carried you along to this moment. Only to find yourselves in this bomb shelter, 50 meters below ground. Wait, what? As you can see, this place mm. is divided into three sections. Carlos, Akane, and Junpei, you three are in Ward C. You will henceforth be referred to as C Team. Your leader shall be Carlos. Next is Q, Mira, and Eric. Let me guess, Q's the leader. Your name will be mm -hmm. Q -team. As evidenced by the name, the leader is Q. And hey, D -team. wait! Is this a joke? Diana's the leader. And finally, Diana, Phi, and Sigma. Yep. Or D is where the three of you are. Diana is the leader. That makes you the D team. You may wander as you like. As long as you remain within your respective walls, there is a time limit, however. 90 minutes. Once 90 minutes are up, an injector in your bracelet will activate. And then it's then, and it means you to erase your memories for the others. Memory erasing drugs? As a result, you'll all fall into a deep, uninterrupted sleep. A few will also forget everything that occurred in those past 90 minutes. Hmm. What? The bracelet has an additional function. A watch. Pressing the buttons on each side simultaneously will display the time. Hmm. Twelve, ten. Today is December 31st, New Year's <laughs> Eve. The year turns over in less than half a day. Unfortunately, very few of you will find yourselves able to welcome a new 2029. Take a look at the door. It's clearly marked with an X. Beyond this X door is a hallway with an elevator. Riding the elevator up will take you above ground. There's no other way out. The door is easy enough to open. Simply obtain the X passes and enter them into the input device beside it. Six X passes are needed for it to unlock. One X pass will be announced every time someone dies. Hmm. That's why it's necessary for them to die. In blunter terms, if six of you die, the rest will gain all of the passwords and will be able to open the X door. <laughs> this is bullshit. One caveat. The door remains open for only 30 seconds. Once that passes, it will automatically close. And never open again. Oh yes. With this information, surely some of you at this point are thinking, How can I kill six people? What? No one would... Well, I'd I'll be surprised. By majority vote, determine one team to execute. What? Oh. Do you see the computer in the corner of the room? The team names of their newfound enemies will be displayed on that Jeez, one. that sucks. Choose the team you've decided to eliminate. Each team gets one vote. The leader must submit it for the group. Your deadline is 1330. Any team that hasn't voted before the time limit is up shall be penalized. Two or more votes will lose. Every number of my team will be executed. Good lord. So the objective is to eliminate the other two teams. Let us begin. This is the decision game, a game of fate. The lives of you, me, and the human race hang in the balance. Man, this is this is a lot harsher than the last two games. Sure, there was penalties of dying, but you didn't have to die. Uh, you know, you you can keep everyone alive in some way, shape, or form, and I hope it's the same for this one. But good lord.
Oh. Okay, now let's continue. Might have to cut this uh, playthrough in. Oh, not playthrough. But uh, this video into two parts because I'm already running 30 minutes and uh, it takes a while to upload. So. I think I'm gonna start a puzzle right now. So, this is the last room. So, as soon as the puzzle starts, I'll stop it and then. Uh, continue in another video. It's just as Zero said, huh? There's no way to get out, except by opening the X door. Fifty minutes left until the vote deadline. Don't tell me you want to vote. How can we not? If we refuse, C-Team gets two votes automatically. We'll die. But... Hey, do you think this could be part of the experiment? DCOM's whole psychological test? Nope. DCOM. What? Why? That masked guy called himself Zero. I have no clue why he's here, but he's for real. So that means he's actually willing to kill off a whole team? Yeah. But how? He said that there's an anesthetic in our bracelets, right? So we'll be sleeping, and then BAM! Or maybe... There's a bunch of different ways. If only there was a way to contact someone on the other teams. Why would you need to reach them? What, you're planning on begging them not to vote C-Team or something? Well, no, but they thought, why not spread out the votes? What do you mean? Remember what Zero said? The group with two or more votes will lose. I get it. Maybe C team could vote for D team, D team for Q team, and Q team for C team. Then all the teams would have one vote each. That'd make it a three-way tie, a and no one would have to die. Mm. How do we make sure they know to do it? Mm. Good question. Hey, Mira, Eric, Diana. Sigma, can you hear us? Uh, it's not working. Damn it. Hey, Akane, uh, why don't you try using the morphogenetic field? Huh? Morphogenetic field? Can she? Let the game end where I treat too. What's this supposed to mean? The game will end something about two people I guess the tough part is figuring out treat if it's like trick or treat then maybe it means there's a reward or a gift or, or something be treat like in the middle of the it could also mean yep. treatment which would imply being cared for either way it doesn't make sense hey uh, anyone know what this thing could be a box what's inside of it maybe Horse some kind of box. white smoke Atomate Baco You've heard of it, Carlos? Hiroshima Taro, right? Japanese folklore. Something about jumping through time, I think. This label says Force Quake Box. What's that? Looks like there's a keyboard. There's probably a password that goes there. Then something ends if you punch it in? But what, though? Maybe the game Zero's making us play. Wait, wait. Or it'll reveal something. You really something. think Zero'd put something that easy here? Seems like it wouldn't even have to be a box for that. Didn't think it'd work. Just pressing random buttons isn't going to solve anything. Hey, you could get lucky. So, what now? What can we do? Maybe we should just get this voting business over with. Junpei. No, we still have some time. Come on, man. You're supposed to be the leader here. How the hell did we get into this mess anyway? Do you guys have any ideas? 
Love the music, by the way. Oh, I can ask questions. No, do I get to ask them all or just pick one? Uh, who is Zero? We'll find out eventually, so I'm not going to ask that question. Uh, Zero's preference. Yeah, what's our relationship? I know Junpei's and Akane's, but I don't know who Carlos is. Akane Kurashiki. Junpei Tenmyoji. You're both Japanese, right? Yes. And you both lived in Japan when you were kids. You even went to the same school. So you're childhood friends. Who told you that? Sigma. He mentioned it back in DCOM. We all lived in close quarters in that facility for five days. Ooh. Information spreads fast. So, whose idea was it for you to join? Huh? The DCOM experiment. You two signed up together, right? No, we didn't. We did this on our own. Wait, you're telling me you guys just happened to bump into each other at DCOM? It wasn't a coincidence. It was inevitable. Hmm. Why did you subject yourself to this circus? I didn't mention it before. I... Well, I kind of really need a lot of cash. They said they'd give us 500000 if we joined up. Jeez. Huh. Color me surprised. Thought a hero of justice had no need of money. A what? Didn't you say you're a firefighter? A really good one? You faced off against danger and saved a whole bunch of people. Sounds like a hero to me. I just have good instincts. It doesn't seem to matter where I find myself. Someone tells me this is a dark pretty secret. good at telling me which path has death at the end. Oh, I guess I get to ask all questions. Why is Zero doing this? To make us play a game, right? This decision game or whatever. With the fate of mankind on the line. So it's true. Do you know something, Akane? I think if we end up losing this game, we're all going to die. Six billion people will. Whoa. So what Sigma said back then up in DCOM was... At this rate, six billion people will die. Yes. What Sigma said Why? is the truth. Have you ever heard of the term Reverie Syndrome? What causes it is unknown. Neither the nerves nor the brain have abnormalities. But somehow, this disease causes you to stop reacting to a variety of stimuli. I've heard there are people from all over the world who have become affected by so this. Puts you to a vegetative hey, state. How does this and what we were talking about before go together? Shouldn't you know already? Huh? A crisis. Mankind is currently facing what is clearly an unprecedented crisis. Those affected are sensing it's coming. Sensing, huh? Reverie syndrome. You've heard of it? Yeah, kinda. See, now... Okay, a, lo a lot of you aren't gonna know what the hell is happening. Uh, but this is related to the previous games. Um, it's it's there's a lot, and I mean a lot of information to go through, and it can get complicated. Uh, it's it's best that you just play the past two games. If if I just finished the game, it would have been fresh in my mind. But I finished the last sequel, uh, like I said, about two years ago. So it's not it's not all exactly fresh in my mind. But from what I remember, and I'm getting into spoiler territory, and this is a huge and major spoiler for those of you that do not want to know. In the last game, basically, they had a, a nonary game. Nonary game meaning, you know, a game based on a number nine. Now, it's, it's very similar to this and very similar to the first nonary game in, in the original game. Now, the whole purpose of that nonary game in the sequel was to 
experiment with not necessarily morphogen morphogenetic fields, which Akani is capable of, uh, which basically is sending information, you know, think of, of Wi-Fi, you're sending information wirelessly over to another device. Kind of the same thing, uh, and I know some of you may be thinking, well, isn't that uh, tele not telekinesis, telekinesis is moving physical objects. Uh, telepathy. Not exactly, because you're relaying information not only to another person's mind, but also through time. So, in this sense, there's another... I don't know if it's another form of a morphogenetic field, but more like time jumping. And we discover that in the last game, Sigma, who was also in the last game, and Phi, basically the two protagonists of the last games, they're able to send their consciousness back through time but not only back through time, because time isn't linear in this universe. It's it's it branches out into multiple universes. So that's how you're able to go back into every decision that you've made and make the opposite decision. So you go back in time to that moment in time and make the opposite decision and see the other timeline get played out. So that's that was part of the experiment to basically bring out those abilities in Sigma and Phi. Now, the reason was because there is this syndrome, Reverie Syndrome. Well, I don't know if it's the same one, but there was one back then that, uh, when infected, it, it made you go crazy. It, you experienced time at one-sixth of, uh, one-sixth speed, so <laughs> everything slows down and it causes you to go nuts and commit suicide, and it almost always ends up committing suicide and killing everyone else as well. So that's what happened to six billion people. As far as I remember, remembering the details to how or why, I can't really say that right now because I really don't remember. Uh, I think it has to do with a Mars facility and uh, and some cult. But the whole purpose to why they're here, and I imagine, of course, this is a brand new game, I, I really don't know, is that they're trying to stop that from happening. So, Zero, or whoever, is actually, well, you know what, I'm not even going to say it. I, I, I don't know who it is, I'm not saying that I know who Zero is, but... I was about to name their intentions, but to be honest, I really don't know. I have no idea. Uh, but it could have been spoiler, because I've guessed some things correctly before, and I've been totally wrong in others, so I don't, in case I'm correct, I don't want to spoil it for anyone. So I'll leave it here. Um, I'm going to leave the last question for the next video, and so we'll continue from there, because we're already at 40 four minutes. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.